You're not, not going to believe this. this. I, I just, just looked, looked at it through my binoculars here. here. It's, it's, it's a, a porta potty. potty. No, I kid you not. It's, it's a porta potty. potty. Looks, Looks like, like a porta potty, potty to me. It is. Yeah, but it, 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 listen to it. Interesting. That, that sounds, sounds like, like a jet, jet engine. engine. It sounds, sounds like, like a jet, jet engine, engine, folks. It, it is a jet, jet engine. engine. It's, it's a, a jet, jet powered, powered outhouse, is what it is. Exactly. exactly. It's, it's the world's only, only jet powered outhouse, in fact. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness, you're kidding me. It's, it's powered by a Boeing turbine, turbine engine, engine that, that puts, puts out 1,000 horsepower. horsepower. Now he's going to pull into show center, and the door will open. Oh, I don't even want to look. <laughs> a little scary. Might want to hide the kid's eyes here. Now, I'll tell you folks, this is a real outhouse. This wasn't constructed especially for this act. This, in fact, is a real porta potty, and it's, whoops, it's been slightly modified. Look at it bouncing up and down there as it blows flame and smoke. Now, the man inside is Paul Stender. And if you've got a jet engine hanging around in your garage, and you give it to this guy, he'll find something to put it in. He has a jet engine outhouse. Obviously, he has a jet school bus, he has a jet beer truck, he has a jet skidoo, he has a jet Humvee, he has a jet ram truck, he has a jet everything, and if you give him another jet engine, he'll find something to put that in. Top speed of this contraption, 72 miles per hour. Why you'd want to go that fast, I'll never know. Now, the interesting part is, when he opens the door, the toilet seat's still in there, and they're sitting on it. But, the difference between this outhouse and the others that you'll find here at the air show, his toilet seat has seat mail. Is it going to be the school bus or the biplane? Which one will take off first? Oh, the airplane. Imagine that. <laughs> Billy, Billy Warren side slipping there, showing Paul Stender the underside of that pits. Look at the flame coming out of the back end of this school bus. Any buses, they'll be able to move that quickly through them. The only problem is, is stopping this thing out of the school. I think the idea is you're just going to eject the kids out into the, into the schoolyard as you go past at about oh, 300 miles per hour. All kinds of advantages to this. There's no more icy streets in the winter. I like that. And if it's hot dog day, you just get the kids around the back end of that school bus and get roast their wieners. Bob, you were talking about...